so classical Claren resources for classical Latin and historical German. Uh, historical German, this is the uh, German from about 1420 to 1700. You know, Latin, it turns out to be a wonderful thing for corpus linguistics because it's a closed corpus, very interesting stuff, Cicero, Caesar, Plautus, Virgil. Uh, it, it's not more than about 454 texts that were collected first by, well, in the Middle Ages, and then uh, by uh, uh, Packard Humanities, and then by Perseus Project. So we have all this in the thing called Latin Lit. Um, and, but the problem is that Latin learning, so this is really about, mostly about learning how to learn Latin, people still learning Latin, believe it or not. Uh, actually, even in Pittsburgh, we have many, many, many students learning Latin. Uh, it hasn't really entered the digital age, so that's where the cloud insight is. I'm done already? Okay. Yeah, but I mean, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so, so anyway, that's what we're doing is making it on the web. So, and then with modern German, we're, all of this is basically um, web-based, but we're also using Anis a lot. And uh, in terms of uh, classic, uh, the German side, uh, the, the task is that we have to OCR, we have to tokenize, and this is a lot of the posters about the crazy tokenization of old of German texts and then uh, segmentation. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Not, not quite your usual kind of resource, Grafo and the documentation of all our archives. So despite my current French uh, affiliation, this was a, a joint work that uh, we carried out within the framework of uh, CLAR in uh, Italy, and more specifically the ILC uh, Center uh, in Pisa and uh, uh, the University of Siena. And uh, it's about uh, a resource called Grafo, which is a collection of oral archives and uh, of our struggle uh, to you know, kind of document this, uh, this resource or collection of resources within uh, uh, the uh, uh, PISA uh, repository, this space uh, repository, and uh, following the CLARIN best practices and, uh, and standards. And uh, because we thought that the, the, uh, the fact reflections that we had on, on these issues and on, on the on problems that arose may be of interest to the broader uh, oral history and oral resources community within Clarin. Uh, we invite uh, all the people that are interested in, in uh, such topics and in metadata curation in general to visit our poster and learn more about uh, Grafo and its documentation. Okay. Thanks a lot. Um, we are presenting research uh, hands-on training in the digital humanities in Austrian case study. And if you're interested in sharing experience about uh, training events and user involvement, come to our poster. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, have to head. Yes. yes. So uh, last year I presented uh, Pickle, uh, the philosophical or practical integrator of uh, computational and corpus uh, libraries. Um, and this year I present a subset, a new subset of that, which is uh -huh, uh, the anagram hashing application. It's actually a little tool that helps, uh, uh, I hope will help uh, researchers uh, uh, more properly document their uh, gold standards for uh, language variation, lexical variation. So if they have a, a gold standard, they can throw it in here and get a, a nicely formatted LaTeX uh, summary uh, of the statistics of the variation in their uh, thing. Uh, I don't actually have a poster, and if there's no Wi-Fi, I won't have a demo either. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, and all to the speakers for being very brief and quick.